What up, guys? A Rods RC here, uh, in the studio slash shop, working on the indoor course, part two, and I also have part three being painted outside. Uh, I was doing some cutting, that's why I got the goggles on. I still plan to, so I'm just gonna keep them on. Um, here's part two started. I am going to get some two by one by threes go underneath and make sure everything is going to be secured together just like that I have the other piece that's going to be coming this way and then I have some eight foot one by threes that I'm going to make a frame for underneath so that it's all sturdy once that's done I have my pulley system that I'm going to install, which will be raising and dropping this thing from the ceiling. Ladder is going to be moved. It will be open for the light to still shine down on my garage when not in use. Uh, can't wait to get it going and show you guys the final product. It's going to be sick. So there's just a little uh, piece of what I got going on today. Um, so, yeah. Next time we'll have a little bit more done and we'll see where we go from there. Peace out from A-Rods RC. What up guys, A-Rods RC here. Uh, building the second part of the indoor course going hard I've been going hard for a little while uh, but this is what I've got so far so going with the desert thing uh, I don't know what happened here but somehow this incline got a little bit harder and uh, at least the RGT wasn't able to make it so we might have to do some adjustments there but we'll go here I also adjusted some stuff down here so we can also come through here if we wanted to the desert area but once you get up top we have this little stair bridge here and another arc with just some logs it's hot glued piece of wood there I'm gonna spray paint it probably cover it with some uh, some kind of desert looking bush Maybe I'll do a sign and a, uh, with a, you know, small bull skeleton. What up guys? Hey, Rods RC here. Showing you some progress of what I got going on. Did some plaster cloth last night. And, uh, did some plaster cloth last night drying now spray painted it this morning early now I'm gonna hit it with the protective flat mat clear coat you know that way if it does if the tires do you know bring any of the paint up it'll be the protective top coat first this is a uh, I think this is a water-based maybe hybrid paint here show you what we got going on out here got some desert hills and landscape we're gonna hit this with the clear coat spray This will dry flat, no sheen to it, which is good because you really don't want your stuff to look like it's fake, I guess, but putting this on there will give it that flat matte look. 
On this portion, I did spray the under part of the aluminum trays, just so it looks a little more realistic. Instead of the silver uh, underneath the hills, or the aluminum, I should say. This stuff dries pretty quick, so we'll let that dry out here in the sun. It's supposed to be 90 degrees today. It's gonna be nice. Also put some more landscape lighting in the outdoor course, sucking up the sun for a possible night crawl later. And the pool's set up for the kitties. We'll be adding some of this stuff to the course next go round. Peace out. What up guys, we're back. Show you what I got going so far. So, we got the awkward bridge, so to say. Come down from here. Not sure where I'm placing these yet, but I got some sand hills, I guess. Desert hills. I still have this wide open space here that I'm um, haven't decided yet uh, how I'm going to finish section two. I want to put some cool stuff in here, not just you know a couple things to crawl on. I want to make it interesting and unique. Um, a couple ways to come from the forest to get to the desert. You can come up there or you can come through the tunnel. Through there. Come out of here. And you can either come out through here or through the loose lava rock I got here. Lava rock is pretty light. So I figured I'd use some of it on the course gonna paint this stuff up obviously when the time is there also added some safety walls on the edges of the course where the vehicles are prone to fall so yeah that's the progress so far I've been testing it out with the four-wheel steer Roxa and the RGTV2, which is, I think, the least capable, if not the second least capable, compared to the Cross RC CR24. Um, I'm thinking of possibly making a less incline to get over here. You know, if, if your vehicle isn't capable to go up this big of an incline or up over there. But we'll see. It's coming along. I'll uh, definitely post some videos of me working on this here in the near future. Let me know what you think. Of course, too, so far. And if you have any ideas or suggestions of what I could put in the desert section. of my three-piece set. See you next time. Peace out from A-Rod's RC. What up, guys? A-Rod's RC here. Working on the indoor course. I didn't film as much of it as I'd like to, but I'm not all the way there yet, so hopefully I get some more of this filmed. Um, let's check it out. So, you guys have seen the section one before. The other videos, if you haven't, check it out. Like and subscribe. All that jazz. Uh, course 2. Desert area. Got some lava rock over there. A little tunnel, cave. Some plaster cloth coated trays with some great stuff going around. I still got some more cuts to make to give it a little more rigid look. 
more uh, aluminum trays, and then a little great stuff kind of hill that will be painted. Goes up this way. through the cave, come through here, still work in progress over here, got another little option, optional ramp here, got the oyster shells, this is going to be kind of a coastal section over here on section 3, hence the oyster shells and kind of aged, you know, beech wood or whatever, got some ideas for what's going on the end here to go off into the ocean not sure yet if you have any ideas or thoughts let me know in the comments uh, but yeah this is it for now gluing some boards in place at the moment realize I hadn't been filming framework going but yeah more to come